Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell, we got a new project on the channel. A 1997 Toyota Camry with a 2.2 liter um, four cylinder. So since I've got this car, I've installed the dash cover, radio, the one that came out of my truck, the old one, which I don't know if I told you about the new one I got in my truck or not, but I also installed this new radiator, radio bezel because as you can tell, the old radiator, radio bezel where the cigarette lighter is was busted out and was electrical taped. So I ordered a new one and it was mis broken clips too. So I got a new one and look, now it's all nice and tight. I also got a school cigarette lighter even though I don't smoke cigarettes. I just did it because I thought it looked cool. Um, and I also installed a steering wheel cover since I've got it. Um, anything else on the interior? Nope. It's only got 133,929. When I got it, the speedometer didn't work. Neither did the uh, odometer. So there's a little blue resistor on the back that goes bad. That you have to order like $10 a piece. Or maybe you can buy a whole pack from China if you wanted to and wait a little longer. So I went to the junkyard, got the whole piece, this whole piece from a junkyard car. And it happened to work. So I pulled the little blue piece off and I resoldered it onto this one just because I wanted the speedometer to work and the odometer. Also, since I've got this car, I've replaced the uh, blend door actuator, which is right here, which is what controls this to go from defroster to defroster and legs. As you can see, it's blowing. And as you can tell, it's just on feet. Now it's on the head and feet because I can feel it coming out of here. Now it's coming out of the head, just the head only up here. And I also installed LED lights behind there because it didn't work when I got it. Also, there was no light down here for the ashtray, so I installed that just because I thought it was cool. Alrighty guys, as you can tell, we're on the end of the and as you can tell, it's a 2.2 liter. I just finished installing new spark plugs and wires. As you can tell, it's got a strut bar. Um, also got that uh, oil fill cap. Also got that radiator cap. Also, as you can tell, um, previous owner drove it into a ditch, broke the front bumper, so I had to order a new front bumper. Uh, I got a new windshield washer bottle and I bought a brand new pump uh, from the auto parts store, but I got the windshield washer bottle from um, the junkyard. I also got the new styrofoam piece. As you can tell, it's missing a chunk. I have that in sitting in the house right now. I'll show you later. Alrighty, guys, that's it for the front. Let's go to the back now. One last thing I forgot to mention is I got LED headlights. I got to get the new front bumper because it's got a chunk taken out of it. I'm going to get new headlights because, as you can tell, that corner light's busted out. And I also installed this hood prop clip because it didn't have one when I got the car and the, the hood wouldn't close when I try to close it because it liked to slid forward and the latch wouldn't engage. So I think that's pretty much it for the engine bay. Let's go to the um, rear. But before we go there, I gotta let you guys know, I installed, or I didn't install, I did an oil change on the car. I installed these window deflectors. When I got the in, the front ones were busted. So right now I'm fighting with eBay, the eBay seller that I bought them from to get replacements for the front since they are broken. And currently they want me to pay an extra um, $12 just for them to ship it to me, which I think is BS. So I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna fight with them until they fucking send me the correct ones. I also installed those stickers, uh, one on each side. Also installed those stickers. And here's the section. Sorry, my trunk's a mess. I basically just got the car, and ever since I got the car, I've been fixing it. But here's the piece that was busted off the car. Here's the bumper. Here's part of the fender liner. The only reason I kept that is because it's got the hardware. And right here, as you guys can tell, I got a brand new fender liner for when I get the new bumper. Also, 
installed a, the trunk lid with the spoiler on it because I found one at the junkyard. But I couldn't get the spoiler off because it's 3M taped underneath and uh, got some bolts on it. I took the bolts out, but it still wouldn't pop loose. So it's a little loose right now because of the silk and I pried off as much as I could. And I just said, screw it and bought the whole trunk lid. It's also got the rare uh, gold lettering. It's also got the V6 emblem, but I'm gonna have to take that off tomorrow because mine's not a V6. Also, one last thing, I created an Instagram for this. If you guys wanna follow it, it is green period underscore period lantern with two ends at the end. And you'll be able to watch the build of this car. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.